Hello Taurus, welcome to your tarot reading here on Dove and Serpent Tarot. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. Now this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember that the most important part of any tarot reading, Taurus, is you. And look at that, six of discs, six of pentacles. That is the moon in Taurus energy. That is uh, a really intense card. There's a lot of love and a lot of success, a lot of cooperation, a lot of warm feelings right now. This is really terrific. I think this this is a good one. Um, as always, if there's anything that I can pray over for you or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know in the comments. All right. Finishing up half of the serpent here. I see that I see that you're one of these people right now who are going to have tremendous success, but it's almost like you're not going to believe it. You're going to be, I think, very successful in what you're working on, but at the same time, you're not really going to feel successful, or you're going to still kind of feel like you haven't done enough yet. So let's get into this. This is going to be interesting. This is a good one already. We're going to do a mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card, and for that, we're going to use the Wait Smith deck. And this is the car that we are going to just kind of set aside over here. We're going to put the alien on top. And he can uh, just hang out with that card until we're ready for it at the very end. See how it might tie everything together and give us the confirmation that we need. Okay. So looking around here, yeah, I was right. There's no major arcana, right? There are no major arcana cards. I think this is a very simple reading. And what I mean by that is there's not a lot there's not a lot of complexity here. There's not a lot of stuff to figure out. There's not a lot of kind of unseen mysterious things happening in your life. This is very down to earth, very practical. We see some earth, 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 earth and earth. We see some water um and a little bit of air. But it's mostly earth. I think with this six of discs, especially, you're about to be very successful. You're about to find that everything in your life clicks. Everything comes together in a very harmonious way. Okay, Whatever you're working on, whatever you've been trying to create, trying to do, trying to accomplish, it's going to come together. Right? It's almost like you finally figured out the right combination to this lock. Things are going to open up. The six here is really about beauty. This is about the, the beauty that we feel, that we experience when everything around us really is in harmony, right? Everything is singing the same tune. Everything is vibrating at the same rate. Everything has the same kind of luster to it. So this is a real um, cooperation. Um, we don't see very many court cards. We see two court cards here, but I think that the six here is more representing other people than these court cards do. I mean, it could be that there there's an air sign in your life somewhere that's uh, that's important here. But with the six of discs, everybody that's working on this project with you, all of the people that you kind of need, all of the things that you need, all of the um, the responses from other people or other entities, other companies, other energies in general. Everything's going to come together because this six is a real balance, right? It's a real harmony. It's cooperation. It's the beauty of just stepping back and just everything is working out so well. And this is really exciting. We could end the reading here and just say, yeah, whatever you're doing within the next, you know, few weeks, I imagine things are going to be very successful. Okay. You're creating this harmony and this cooperation in your life right now. But what are you working on? That's the question. Well, 
I think you're working on something. We've got a two of cups that crosses your path too. You're working on something that is meant to bring people together. You're working on something that I think is deeply meaningful to you. And it is a way that you are expressing love. Okay. So it may not be something with business. It may not be something with money, with finances. It may be um, part of a relationship. It may be um, creating some kind of a charitable organization or a community organization. It could be just getting all of your like people together, you know. Could be really some kind of organization that you're you're trying to accomplish. But whatever it is, it's done with love. Okay, it's done with this two of cups um, as a way for you to connect with other people. And I think that's going to be the biggest part of this for you. Yeah, we like this one. We like the success. We like the idea of this thing running smoothly. It's like a well-oiled machine. It's just kind of humming along. It's a beautiful thing. But we're going to be very, very pleased with the level of connectedness, with the way that it does bring people together, with the way it connects you not only with your purpose internally, but connects you with other people, right? A deep, a deep connection. It's an appreciation. It is, um, God, I don't know what you're doing. I, I feel like it, it is maybe something to do with mental health or counseling or, or addiction, recovery. Um, it's something that I think is, is really meant to help other people. Okay. And I wonder, <clears throat> I wonder, honestly, if that's why we have this Five of Cups in the background here. This is behind everything. It may be the past. It may be kind of an underlying, one of the, the couple of underlying things going on here. But this is kind of what's behind you, and this is a Five of Cups. This could be some emotional turmoil that you have recently gotten through, processed. Um, I want to say overcome, but do we really ever overcome our you know, um, our past, our trauma, our issues. Um, I don't know. I don't know that we truly ever overcome these things, but we get a handle on them, right? This could be some addiction in your own life. This could be recovery from that kind of addiction. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to make this one of those kind of readings, right? But I feel that you've overcome something and now you've maybe even devoted your life to, uh, to this, this theme, this work, to help other people through the similar things, okay? Because I feel like it's really done because you've been there, you know what it's like, and you want to help, okay? So whatever, whatever this could be, it doesn't have to be uh, mental health, doesn't have to be addiction recovery. Uh, this could be literally uh, anything. It could be just taking place in your place of employment, uh, where you work, what you do for money, that you are now responsible for other people and maybe you're put in charge of the department or uh, of a group of people working on a particular project, something like that. I do feel now that maybe there is this air sign person in your life who this is who you almost through all of this work, this is who you really want to reach. You really want to be able to help this person. And maybe in some ways it's too late to help this person. Maybe they're not in your life anymore for whatever reason. Or maybe they still are. But I feel like this is who you're you're aspiring to reach. Okay? And it could be that through this effort that you're putting in now with this project, it's a, kind of a symbolic way for you to help this person. Or maybe literally help this person, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, kind of, I'm getting a mixed feeling about this one. Because I, I kind of feel, especially when we look at the path of the serpent, there's kind of some negative energy over here. Right now, I don't want, don't want to scare you away. Don't click off this, this video just yet. Because I feel like this is what we're overcoming. This is why, kind of, this is why we're working so hard on the path of the dove, this project. Okay. I think it is to 
perhaps make up for not helping this person, not being able to help this person um, when they needed it, or you know, maybe when we were in our five of cups, this person needed us too, and we weren't we weren't able to to be there for them at that time. Now I could be completely wrong, and I hope I am. But for some reason, I'm feeling this air sign person being a um, being a very important factor in why you're doing this, why you're working so hard, and why it has such an intense emotional connection for you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but let's get off that. Let's get off the. Let's get out of our feelings a little bit, right? Let's get back to this Earth energy because this is really where it's at. This Earth energy. We've got a Prince of Discs underneath everything. This is your essential Taurus nature. Right, this card kind of does represent Taurus, and this is your ability to build, man. This is you just working hard, knowing the what and the why and the how, not dwelling on on that stuff, not dwelling in the feelings, just working hard day in and day out. Right, you don't have to stop and think. You don't have to always remember why you're doing it because you've got all of that already kind of locked in uh, at your core, and. Now you're doing the hard work. You're getting your hands dirty, right? And I think that's a big thing for you is connecting with the earth right now. And especially with the, the time of year, we're moving closer to the solstice. I feel as if everything is really coming to a culmination for you. Everything's really coming to a head. There's going to be this peak kind of um, uh, uh, frenzy almost as you're doing all of this work. There's going to be a moment where you can stop and realize the beauty of it. And this, not necessarily a finished state, but that moment where you can step back and be like, this is beautiful. I've done it. Right? This is it. And uh, that is through your hard work and your effort. Okay? So this is kind of present tense, continuing the work until we get to that point where it is kind of running smoothly on its own. You know, we can recognize that beauty and that harmony. And what does this all lead to? Well, we've got a ten of discs, pentacles, diamonds, coins, uh, wheels. So in the, in the immediate future, or what results from all of this love and hard work, is wealth. The key word for this card, wealth. It's not just finances. This is the state of being wealthy, of having wealth, of possessing wealth. But what does that word mean, wealth? What does that word mean? I think it means a lot of things to a lot of people. It means different things to different people. And this is kind of the question that, that we have to ask because I see that whatever you're doing, this work that you're doing is going to be very successful. It's going to make you a wealthy person. But what is that wealth it's a little bit of everything, probably, right? You need financial wealth. You need an emotional wealth. You need, closely related word, health. This is the state of kind of having everything that you need, being complete, right? All 10 of these coins are there, are complete, are, are in your life, are with you. They are in your, you know, uh, virtual possession. Okay, so this is everything that you need around you to feel like you've done a good job, like you've made it, you know. Um, and I, I think that this is all because there are no major arcana. This is all done through your effort, your self-knowledge, your recognizing of these energies, and your appreciation for some of these negative cards, like the Five of Cups, I think is intensely motivating for you. Whatever this Five of Cups state was, if this was... Um, some mental health issues, some depression, melancholy, um, some kind of trauma or crises in our life, if this was some kind of addiction, if this was just a general feeling of, of anxiety or a general feeling of, um, well, all sorts of stuff, despair. I don't want to get into it. You know what this is for you. It's different. All of us have a five of cups somewhere in our life. But I think that you're intensely aware of how this affected you and what it means for you now to be in this six and two here. 
you are intensely appreciative of being here, considering that not too long ago you were here. Okay. And not too long from now you're going to be here. So you can really appreciate um, the, the progress that you've made. And I think, again, because of the absence of the major arcana, you deserve to be proud of yourself for this. There was no unseen hand that did this for you. There was no outside force that kind of handed this to you. Yes, spirit is here. Spirit is underneath all of these cards running through all of this, running through you and I and everything. But in this instance, I feel as if spirit kind of was stepped back a little bit, you know, to watch you work, to allow you didn't, there was no divine intervention other than the divinity that's running through you at every moment. But I think spirit kind of stepped back and just said, you can handle this. You can, you know what you're doing, you know? And, you know, maybe spirit is not that, that personal. Um, but I kind of get that vibe because of, I feel the major arcana are kind of just outside of this spread. And maybe the mystery card will be that major arcana. So I feel as if you're intensely appreciative and intensely proud of the work that you've done and the success that you're achieving and the accomplishments that you're, you're making and what you have overcome is essential to all of this. Now, Path of the Serpent. I said at the beginning, Seven of Discs. I said at the beginning that you're going to be very successful at this, but at the same time, you're going to feel as if you can't stop and pat yourself on the back. You can't rest and enjoy it. You can't stop working. You can't get lazy now. It's almost as if you're so successful, but you still feel like a failure. You still feel like there's so much more to do. Um, it's, I think it's because you're working so hard in this Taurus energy. You're working so hard at this that it's almost as if somebody needs to come by and, and kind of tap you on the shoulder and be like, hey, 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 stop for a second. Look around. Look at what you've done. You know, because you're just so focused, so intense, so hardworking that you're always in this got to do more, got to do more, got to do more, got to keep going. So maybe spirit is about to tap you on the shoulder to say, hey, let's look around. You know, let's take a walk, you and I, and enjoy this for a minute. Sure, there's going to be more work to do, but you can, you deserve a little bit of a, of a pat on the back. Okay. So if this card is your general energy, that is the idea that it's all hard work all the time. You can't stop to enjoy it. It's just hard work all the time. Both of these cards are underneath everything kind of as a general, a general way of being. We've got the Prince of Discs. We've got the Seven of Discs. So this is both, um, it's with the seven of discs, it's about overcoming. It's about getting victory over or triumphing over the perceived failure, right? So it's like you're, you've, you're working so hard to really, to try to overcome this five of cups. Now, I think that you have achieved that and you will achieve that. Um, but it's this idea of having to just keep working. We don't want to we don't want to ease up because that, that might invite failure, right? Does that make sense? So we're, we keep working so hard so that we can overcome, that we can triumph over this Five of Cups. But I think we're beyond the Five of Cups. We're, we've got the Two of Cups. We've got the Ten of Discs now. But you're still working that hard like we're, like we're back at the beginning, you know? So I think Spirit is trying to tap you on the shoulder to say, hey, we can ease up a little bit, right? Ease back, Ripley, ease back. And the next card now is this Nine of Swords. So this is, <clears throat> this I think is the perception of danger at every turn. Nine of Swords. Keyword for this card's cruelty. And this is being placed in your environment. 
in your relationships with others. This is the idea that if you stop working, bad things are going to come into your life. Um, the danger that is all around you is going to find its way in if you stop the busyness. Okay. This is, um, this is that idea that, you know, idle hands are the, uh, the devil's playground or however that, that phrase goes. I think that's it. So idle hands here, I think is the big issue because once we stop moving, once we stop doing our work and we do, if we do ease back a little bit, well, that's when all the scary things can catch up to us, right? If we, if we stop spinning, then that's when things can find their way into our aura. Um, so I, I wonder if that's one reason why we are in such this busy, busy, busy energy down here. Okay, busy, busy, busy energy down here. What I also see is this Four of Cups. This is in the position of what you don't want. Why Four of Cups, why don't you want this? Perhaps um, this is kind of the other side of that coin. You don't want to stop being busy, 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 because then you're going to let these daggers in. You're going to let this danger, uh, you know, we'll find an opportunity. We'll find a, a, a crack in your armor, so to speak. But on the other hand, we also don't want um, a life that is without danger. We don't want to have this kind of boring, everything is perfectly fine and mellow and kind of boring. So we like this idea of there being danger around. It's exciting, you know? And I think that goes back to this Five of Cups too, and maybe that's just kind of how we are in our nature right now. That we want we want that little bit of danger because on the one hand, having this threat of danger around us keeps us working hard. And that's what's giving you all of this success that we see. And then on the other hand, um, having this little bit of danger, this little bit of excitement prevents us from kind of having this boring, stagnating life that then might be the idle hands, the idle heart. That puts us back in this five of cups, you know? So I think you like to have things moving. We see movement again here with this five of discs at the end of the path of the serpent. So we've got the five of cups. We've got the seven. We've got the nine. Now we've got this five. So it seems to me like we do kind of prefer movement, uncertainty. We, we prefer activity this excitement, you know, rather than the kind of stagnant things, because we see the two. Now, I always say that the even numbers are the states of being, the calm, the balance, the harmonious, the stillness, and the odd numbers are the movement, the, the, the dynamic energy, the excited energy, right? So we've got, um, we've got odd, 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 odd. And we've got even, 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 even. So it's kind of this balance between activity and stillness. Dynamic energy and magnetic energy. Rest and activity. So I kind of feel like you are, even with this set, with this success, with the two, the six, the ten, right? This this wonderful state of success of wealth, of love, you're still wanting this activity. You don't want to just rest in this stillness, in this success energy. You want to keep going. You almost prefer, like I said, prefer the uncertainty, prefer there to be a little bit of danger around you because then you have to keep active. You have to keep moving and moving. And I kind of feel myself that way right now, too. I'm, my leg is shaking. My hands are moving around a lot. I feel um, a reluctance to just, just be still, you know? Stillness is a difficult thing to achieve. And it may even, it may serve you well to take some time out of your day to practice stillness, 
at least of your body, right? A lot of earth energy here today. Maybe trying to practice some stillness. When you start to feel you're fidgeting or something, just recognize it and try to be still. I wonder what most of you are doing right now as you watch these readings. Are you sitting down? Are you lying down? Are you in your car driving, listening? Just pay attention to the road. Uh, are you doing other things? Are you gardening? Are you outside? Are you cooking? Are you cleaning? Uh, are you at work? Are you on the computer doing other work things? Or, um, you know, researching things or surfing the internet? Um, but if you can, if you're in a safe place right now, just try to put your hands down. Try to relax, get in a comfortable position. And just close your eyes for a moment. Try to feel the stillness. Try to feel the, the calm here. Because that is going to allow you, if we can find these moments of stillness, that's when we're really going to experience this Two of Cups, this joy and love, this gratitude. Sometimes on this channel, I like to give a little bit of homework. And I think the homework right now for us, Taurus, would be to try to find at least one or two moments of stillness every day, even if it's 10 seconds, uh, not while you're driving or operating heavy machinery. And maybe let's either say out loud or write down in our, our journal or wherever um, at least three things that we feel this love and gratitude for. Something in our lives. Right? Could be something completely abstract. You know, I'm grateful for the color yellow. Um, whatever it might be. I think that's important. I want to look at the mystery card now. Thank you, Alien, for helping us out there. Great movie, Alien and Aliens. Um, i like to see this be some stillness or some major arcana. Let's find out together. No, it's more work. It's the seven of discs, pentacles, coins, diamonds, wheels. It is, I can hear you now thinking, no, nope, no, nope, it's not done. I got to keep, it's not finished yet. I can't rest now. This guy's crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Who is this Dave guy anyway? Um, so this makes it even more important to force yourself, if you have to, to find a moment of stillness. Put the hammer and chisel down for a minute. And just, just be, right? You know, you don't have to force a feeling or anything, but just force your body to, to stop moving, right? There's plenty of time left to do all of this work. You can take five seconds to, to not be working. Okay. But it's interesting that we got this card again. Because this is kind of where all of the energy started to focus in the reading was, yeah, there's going to be success. You're really doing it. But it's like you don't know when to stop and appreciate it. Or stop and enjoy it, right? Allow yourself to feel proud and thankful and grateful and joyful over this. So I think we've got a little bit of homework. Um, we're going to do an extended. If you want to stick around, you can click on the link that's right there. And that'll give you access to all of the extended readings, not just for Taurus, but for all of the zodiac signs. Uh, this was your timeless reading. This, this message was meant for you right now. Okay. So I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning into the channel. And thank you for letting me read for you. Axel.